my dear friends geometry is the science which investigates and demonstrates the properties of lines on surface and solids hence practical geometry is the method of applying the rules of the science to practical purposes i hope you can draw a line segment of a given length a line perpendicular to a given the line segment an angle an angle bisector a circle etc now you will learn how to draw parallel lines and some types of triangles that we study through the chapter practical geometry okay dear friends let's see the first topic construction of a line parallel to a given line through a point note on the line let's see to construct a line parallel to the other line from an external point we require a ruler and a compass and the following steps are followed given a line segment ab at a point p that lies out of the line segment ab to construct a line that is perpendicular to line ab that passes through the point p now let's see the construction through these steps first step choose any point x on the line segment ab and join it to a point p as shown see this figure step 2 with x as center and any suitable radius draw an arc cutting the line segment px at point m and ab at point n respectively see this figure and step 3 with p as center and the radius as used in previous step draw an arc ef cutting the line segment px at point q that is seen in this figure step 4 with q as center and same radius as before draw an arc cutting the arc ef at r as shown in that figure step 5 join r and p to draw a line segment cd here the line segment cd is required parallel to the line segment ab and passes through the point p to verify whether the line segment that is constructed is parallel to line segment ab Connect the points E, Q, and M and N as described here. Okay, friends. The next topic is construction of triangles. You know how triangles are classified based on sides or angles, and the following important properties concerning triangles. First one: the exterior angle of a triangle is equal in measure to the sum of interior opposite angles. The second point: the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree third point sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side fourth point in any right angled triangle the square of the length of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the other two sides okay friends see the next topic construct a triangle with the length of three sides are known Let's see this topic through an example. The question is: Construct a triangle having side length six centimeter, seven centimeter, and four centimeter. Let's see the solution by step by step. First step: Draw a line segment measuring one of the given side lengths of the triangle. Let's draw the side having length six centimeter and mark its end point as A and B. Use a ruler to carry out this step. Step two: Set the width of your compass equal to another given side length. Let's set it equal to seven centimeter. Retain this width for the next step. And the third one: Place the tip of the compass on one of the end points of the side AB. Let's choose to place it on A, and to draw an arc on either side of the line segment AB. Set the width of your compass equal to the length of the third side, which is four centimeter. In this case, retain this width for the next step. Step number five: Place the tip of the compass on B and draw another arc which cuts the previously drawn arc at the same point. That is C. Join C to each of the points A and B to complete the triangle. Triangle ABC conforms to the specified dimension. Here, AB equal to six centimeter, BC equal to four centimeter, and CA equal to seven centimeter. Erase any extraneous construction if you so wish. Okay, friends. 
Next we can see about constructing a triangle with the two sides and one angle is given. Draw a triangle ABC in which AB equal to 5 cm, BC equal to 7 cm and angle B equal to 75 degree. Let's see the solution. Now we are going to see the steps of construction. First one, draw a line segment AB 5 cm. Then make an angle, angle ABC that is equal to 75 degree. And cut off BC that is equal to 7 cm. Finally, join AC. So we get a triangle like this. Okay friends. I hope all of you enjoy this chapter and study the construction well. We will see you again in the next video. Till that, goodbye.